सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल लेट्स नो एवरी थिंग एंड क्लिक ऑन बेल आइकन टू गेट एवरी लेटेस्ट न्यू अपडेट्स हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय नेम इज सुजय वेलकम टू माय चैनल लेट्स नो एवरीथिंग टुडे आई हैव कम विद माय इंडियन ज्योग्राफी जीके पार्ट सिक्स वीडियो एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई हैव गिवन द आंसर टू ईच क्वेश्चन अलोंग विद द एक्सप्लेनेशन एंड पिक्चर व्हिच आर वेरी 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 इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर योर अपकमिंग कॉम्पिटिटिव एग्जाम्स लाइक एसएससी यूपीएससी रेलवेज बैंकिंग एसेट्रा एसेट्रा सो प्लीज वॉच दिस वीडियो टिल द एंड यू विल डेफिनेटली लाइक इट देन विदाउट वेस्टिंग योर टाइम लेट्स स्टार्ट फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन व्हेन द बॉडीज ऑफ प्लांट्स एंड एनिमल्स टर्न इनटू स्टोन they are called fossils in single word when organism turn into stone they are called fossils here in this image you can see how a tree and the body of a fish turn into stone and their imprints are seen on the rock both are examples of fossils now i will tell you how they turn into stone at the time of formation of sedimentary rocks layers by layers on the bottom of rivers seas and lake a variety of aquatic plants and animals are also buried in it when the sediments turn into stone the bodies of these plants and animals also turn into stone and their imprints are seen on the rock which are called fossils fossils are found only in sedimentary rock yes friends almost all fossils are found or preserved in sedimentary rock it's a very important friends often it comes in exams that in which rock fossils are found then the right answer will be sedimentary rock limestone sandstone coal chalk all these are examples of sedimentary rocks the study of fossils is called paleontology from fossils we can learn a lot about primitive life therefore paleontology is a very important study to know about early life got it friends next question what is doab right answer option a a land between two rivers yes friends the place where two small rivers join together and create a big river is called doab actually doab separates two rivers you can see in this image the word doab comes from do which means two and ab means water or river the term doab is mainly used in south asia question number 3 it's a very important which plateau is called the heart of industrial india ए डेकान प्लैटो बी छोटा नागपुर प्लैटो सी टिबेटियन प्लैटो डी माइसोर प्लैटो राइट आंसर ऑप्शन बी छोटा नागपुर प्लैटो छोटा नागपुर प्लैटो इज लोकेटेड एट दिस एग्जैक्ट प्लेस ऑन द मैप ऑफ इंडिया छोटा नागपुर प्लैटो इज कॉल्ड द हार्ट ऑफ इंडस्ट्रियल इंडिया बिकॉज इट इज रिच इन मिनरल्स पावर फेल्स एंड पीसीय स्टोन फॉर ऑल ऑफ दिस रीजन छोटा नागपुर प्लैटो इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड The Ruhr of India. Ruhr is a major industrial hub of West Germany. It is basically located in eastern India. This plateau covers Jharkhand, West Bengal, Bihar, Chhattisgarh, all these four eastern Indian states. Next question. Question number four. Which tree is known as the flame of the forest? A. People. B. Orchids. C. Palas. D. Bamboo. Right answer option C. Palas. Palas trees are red and yellow in color and therefore known as the flame of the forest. This type of tree majorly found in the district of Rajshamand. It is a city in Rajasthan. Palas is the state flower of Jharkhand. Batia monosperma is the scientific name of palas. And for your more information, orchids is known as the beauty of the forest. People is called tree of the gods. and bamboo is known green gold of tribal people question number 5 which river is called the saro of bihar a son b ganga c damodar d koshi right answer will be option d koshi koshi river is known as the saro of bihar due to annual floods that affects the agricultural lands of the state and disturbs the rural economy and friends don't forget to remember it damodar river is called the saro of bengal brahmaputra saro of assam and periya river is known as the saro of kerala next question question number 6 which country has the longest international boundary with india it's a very important the right answer of this question is option d bangladesh yes friends bangladesh has the longest boundary with india 
total length of border between India and Bangladesh is about 4096 km. And friends, remember, it is the fifth longest land border of the world. Question number 7, it's a very important friends. The oldest oil field in India is Digboy in the state of Assam. The first oil well in India was dug at Digboy in September 1889. Digboy is the Asia's first oil refinery which was started in 1901. Digboy is known as the oil city of Assam. It is now headquarters of Assam Oil Division of Indian Oil Corporation Limited. Question number 8. Railway passenger coaches are manufactured at Perambur. Integral Coach Factory ICF at Perambur in the city of Chennai has become a leading rail coach manufacturing factory in India as well as in the world. It was founded in the year 1955. And for your kind information, Kapurthala, which is located on the Jalandhar Firozpur railway line in the state of Punjab, is another rail coach factory in India, but not larger than Perambur rail coach factory. And friends, remember, rail engines are made at Chitranjan Locomotive Works in Chitranjan in the state of West Bengal. Railway diesel engines are manufactured at Varanasi in the state of Uttar Pradesh. I tell you one more time, railway passenger coaches are manufactured at Perambur, which is located in Chennai. Rail engines are made at Chitranjan Locomotive Works in Chitranjan, West Bengal. And railway diesel engines are manufactured at Varanasi in the state of Uttar Pradesh. So friends, I hope all the points have been clear to you. Next question. Question number 9. Which is the longest national highway in India? Right answer option B. NH44. Yes friends, NH44 is the longest national highway in India. NH44 or National Highway 44 is 4,112 kilometers long in length, running from north to south. It starts from Srinagar in Jammu and Kashmir. and ended to Kanyakumari in Tamil Nadu. And for your kind information, NH44 or National Highway 44 was previously known as NH7 or National Highway 7. Question number 10. Where was the first cotton mill set up in India? Right answer option A, Kolkata. Yes friends. The first cotton textile mill was established in India at Fort Gloucester near Kolkata in the year 1818. And friends remember the second cotton mill was started in Mumbai in 1854 with large scale of production of cotton. Its name was Bombay Spining and Weaving Company. It is called the true foundation of modern cotton industry in India. Question number 11. What causes earthquakes? Right answer option D. Sleeping of tectonic plates. Yes, friends, most earthquakes are caused by the sleeping of tectonic plates. You can see how the plates move from bottom to top and top to bottom and slide to the side, that causing earthquakes. And some minor earthquakes can also be caused by volcanic eruption and collapse of rocks on earth's surface. Question number 12. Which state has no Adivasi population in India or which state has no tribal population in India? Right answer option C, Punjab. Not only Punjab but also Haryana, Chandigarh, Delhi and Puducherry have no population of scheduled tribes according to 2011 census. And for your kind information, according to 2011 census, Madhya Pradesh has the highest tribal population in India. Question number 13. Which is the largest delta in the world? The right answer of this question is option A, Sundarbans. Sundarbans delta is the largest delta in the world. And friends, first of all, you have to know what is delta. Delta is an area of flat land that's shaped like a triangle. Sundarbans is also exactly like a triangle shape. That's why it is called delta. Sundarbans Delta is also known as the Ganga Brahmaputra Delta or Ganga Delta. It is formed at the confluence of Ganga, Brahmaputra and Meghna rivers in the Bay of Bengal. A large amount of mangroves and deciduous forests are found in this Sundarbans Delta. 
This delta is spread over an area of 14,600 square kilometers. Sundarbans delta spans from the Hooghly River in the Indian state of West Bengal to the Baleshwar River in Bangladesh. And friends, don't forget to remember it, Sundarban was declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1987 because of its mangroves forest and biodiversity. Question number 14. What is the difference between the Indian Standard Time and Greenwich Mean Time? Right answer option B, 5 hours and 30 minutes. Yes friends, Indian Standard Time is 5 hours and 30 minutes ahead of Greenwich Mean Time. Last and final question, question number 15, which is the only diamond producing state in India? Right answer option B, Madhya Pradesh. Yes friends, Madhya Pradesh is the only Indian state that produces diamonds. Panna in Madhya Pradesh is famous for diamond mining in India. Panna is known as the city of diamonds. And for your kind information, Surat, a city in Gujarat, is also known as the diamond city of India. Surat is very famous for its diamond cutting and polishing. Friends, I hope you like the video. If you like it, then please hit the like button and share this video with your friends and family. And if you are new to my channel, then please don't forget to subscribe it. And must press the bell icon to get notification of my latest new videos. Thank you so much friends for being with me and watching this video. Thank you. Thank you so much.